October 25th, 2016 at 7 o'clock p.m. At this time, if there's anyone who has, uh, is recording this meeting, uh, please state your name for the record. Brian Moyer. Thank you. Anyone else? Jessica Trevisano. Good job. Uh, the ECDC committee did meet this afternoon 
Uh, Mr. Zern will be giving his report next Tuesday. I'll give him time to compile everything that from this afternoon's meeting. Thank you. Okay. All right, is there anybody else on the council that would like to address? Mr. Evers. I'd like to go ahead and schedule a finance committee meeting for Tuesday, November 1st at 5.30.
was shut down for two years. And then it opens back up. I had articles in the news here about trying to get some sort of help. No further help. Trying to work with our old recreation and parks and rec department. It's in a city where you have troubles with the youth. When you take away from their outlets of expression, where do they have to go? They have nowhere. They're going to turn to what, what our epidemic is going on now. And what you did, what was done in the last 48 hours, was very exciting. You worked a lot of kids' hearts and shared a lot of dreams. I'm not going to point, I don't point fingers, I don't point names. I would just like answers. What, what can we do? What, where, where do we have to start? It's just, it's heartbreaking. We're, we we wanted to donate our own time, our own money, and the city wouldn't even let us do that. All we wanted was permission to fix what was there. And we couldn't even obtain that. We had our meetings, and it just felt like every time we were getting pushed around. And also, with, with the American Federation, now, is that going to be like the Supreme Court Sandy's Club Association? Wow, they need to plan for a dollar a year where they're not, what are they, what are they putting back to them? Is there something we can do to have them get money back towards us? Same thing with the probation law. Why give all this stuff away when we have property that we can invest in ourselves and make our own And that's what my point is. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else would like to address council?
established school is not the answer. We proved, we got together, we proved the funds we needed to repair the skate park, not a uh, bulldozer and throw the trash. So I don't know why, I don't want to know the real reason, um, because I'm not buying it, uh, it just wasn't fixable. Okay. okay, well, anyone else?
Anyone else in the audience would like to address council? Seeing none, that includes that portion of the meeting. Um, <coughs> legislation proposed, there is no legislation proposed, there is no legislation pending, there is no unfinished business, there is no new business. We will none move on to the administrative report. The first report came from the mayor and city director. Thank you, Mr. Hayley. Welcome everyone to this evening's meeting. I've written down some of the comments of everyone getting up to speak. For those who don't know, I've lived in the city of East Lake for 35 years. I've seen the good, I've seen the bad. As the one gentleman said about investing, we've decided not to invest in ourselves in the city. Whether we believe that we're overtaxed or not, we have decided not to invest. The reasons that we've gone out and done certain things, teaming up with the YMCA, because we didn't, when we did shut the pool down, we couldn't operate it because we didn't have the money. So we went with the YMCA. We leased that land to them for $1, and they run our pool. We were going to shut, after the last one, when we were going to shut down the community center, we've gotten to work with EPAL. We leased that building to them for $1. They take care of all the maintenance. The pool people at the YMCA run the pool for us. No tax dollars on either one of those. We lease out the, uh, the uh, library administration in this city hall. That we do make some money. That is $68,000 that goes in our general fund that we didn't have before. As I've been telling people, and I've said at the last few meetings, I'm not upset when people tell me I will never pass a levy in this city because of what's on the corner 15 years ago on 91. My answer back is, don't be upset with me when I have to cut certain uh, services. And that's where we're at. I mean, people get up and say about our dishonesty and our, you know, I'm not on any of the pages, but people unfortunately send me all the comments on the pages that are out there about the city and about the administration, about myself, about these guys. You know, the one thing that really bothers me and I know it bothers the ACL, that there has been bribes for us to go into doing what we want to do back here. The reason we are in with the ACL or trying to, because we cannot maintain it. So we went out there, they approached us and said, hey, we want to build soccer fields in the area. We want to have, there's going to still be parts of the park. Unlike what is out there on the pages and how many people have contacted me, which are five possibly, that everyone listens to what is on Facebook and Facebook only. No one wants to contact me. No one wants to con contact the council. I've even seen a post to say, why would you want to talk to the mayor or council about this ACL lease? Why would we do things? Why would we go outside if we had the money to do things? Why would I tear down a skate park if we could maintain it? Why would I do all that? If you listen to people, it's vindictive. I've done it because political reasons. I've done it because I'm upset about the ACL. But how many in this audience has talked to me, including the people that run these pages? We just asked you right now. We're asking you right now. We've had so we've seven months on the Facebook ACL. Facebook we've Facebook had Facebook eight Facebook months Facebook. of meetings, okay. sir. I know, but we're asking you right now. Why and I understand. Without any warning. There, we're on, I'm going to go to the skate park, we're on the ACL, there's, there's, uh, there's many questions we're asking, I'm trying to answer. Isn't that part of the property that they're interested in? No, it is not. Okay. Even though it might be out there, it is not. It's not part of the property. The property is behind the community center. Yes. To answer some other questions, field number three, which is behind the community center, went because out there keeps saying the park is going to be on a lockdown. And the people, and I'll give you credit, you're very good on social media. You, you have people in an uproar. That's good. It's an all, all or nothing. People have decided to alienate us from this city and villainize us, and that's fine. As part of elected officials, that's what we deal with. That's what we are told that we are, and, and it's okay. But again, we need to invest in our city. No one wants any more taxes. I agree. We've laid off 42 people since 2011, and we can't run. But no one understands that we can't run. They just want to say we're we're hiding money, we're doing this, we're underhanded trying to make deals with ACL. The park was shut down 
because I went over once again because I got another call that all the tubing was taken out and laying on the ground. We've had, hold on, hold on. So do I get the talk or we're going to have this? This is why I'm not on the pages because this is what it is. You can attack me. I told them if, I get, if we're attacked, I'm here to be attacked. I'm fine with it. I have to make tough decisions. I made them. When we talk about we wasted money on those pylons, that was the cheapest route to go instead of doing the fence. Okay? Instead of doing a chain link fence. We wouldn't have did that if they wouldn't have tore the fence down. I didn't want to put any money into it. The law director says we have to have a barrier. Or those pylons wouldn't have went in there. To say, and I, and I went over there and I'm not going to throw my guy under the bus because he's not here. We went over there. I, didn't, I don't make decisions on certain things all by myself because I have my directors, I have my chiefs, and we discuss these things all the time. We went over there. You know what? The lawsuit will be against the city of East Lake. It won't be against the skaters. It won't be against anything. I made a decision. It had to come down. I didn't do it to hurt you, to hurt any of the kids. I did it because that's what we had to do. And I know you don't agree with it, but again, and we'll go back to what, you know, everyone gets up and says we can get a, a bucket or we can get this. They had something in July. We have $68 that's been donated so far. Okay, we have not had any other fundraising that's come to me and said, hey, we're going to have a fundraiser at the EPAL. Hey, we're going to have a fundraiser at the Croatian Lodge, which they said they would you, you give the hall for free. We've not done any of that. But in the end, we want to turn around and just say that it's all of us, all of me. And I'm okay with that. But again, if we're not ready to invest in ourselves, we need to do that eventually. And I don't, you know, honestly, I don't know if we ever will. You know, the whole 15 years with the lease, because we keep going back to 15 years, you're giving away land. Well, we could try, we could sell landlock land for 300000 put it in a general fund, and be done in a year. We could do that. The, the also with the lease, my goal is, and you're right, I won't be here in 15 years in this seat. But maybe in 15 years, we'll have a turnaround in the city, maybe everyone will put blame in that thing on the corner, and maybe we'll come together as a city and say, hey, in 15 years, you know what my dream is on Roberts Road? A new senior center, a new community center, a new pool. Always been a, in that. But we can't pass $1.47 a month. How are we going to pass what we would need for a bond issue? So it's not like we're not trying. We have to get people behind us. And at this point, we're, we, it's, it's all the negativity that is out there about us. Well, about the whatever wants to go. You think your last night is going to get somebody behind you? No, I don't think it will. But you know what? I'll use an example last year. And Chris, I'll ask you. I was, talked, I was asked by the Block Watch and some residents in Jackson about closing down the basketball because of vandalism and this and that. Did I, go and, did I go out, did Chris go out and say, hey, we're going to shut down? Did we do that? Yep. Or did we just make the decision? Made a decision because that's what I was asked to do. I have to make tough decisions. It isn't, we are elected to go out and make decisions. Whether they're tough or not, I'll make the decisions. And I'm not always going to be liked for what I do. Is there a blueprint of what's going on down there? There's a they, sketch of that. Yeah. Would you take a sketch from a, a major company that's coming in? I just want a blueprint. I want to see what they're doing with the lanes. I, I, and I've said in meetings for eight months, I'm not going to have us spend $50,000 on blueprints and what could happen in November 8th. $50,000 Did you, you ever? I mean, we can make a part of that. Oh, Speaking. No, I mean, and this is fine. I, I just want to know because what, what's getting lost in the in that part of the lease because it's not being communicated completely. The <coughs> documents exist. Anybody, if the people that were putting these things out on the website shared the document, the way it's designed is the way it's designed is that once we have this lease agreement, the parties are going to get together and decide the configuration of that property. If we don't decide, it doesn't go forward. So the mayor and council and the finance director at the time, all of us had these discussions knowing full well that once we move forward, we're trying to bring a big neighbor in, being the Croatian Center, to invest in repairing that property. In exchange for a dollar, they're repairing that property. What we're going to do at that point is sit down and decide on the best configuration. And if the parties can't agree, they can't agree. But to do architectural drawings, drainage, grade, all of those types of things will cost five to ten, possibly fifteen thousand dollars. So we haven't asked the Croatian Center to make that investment 
until they're sure the city is prepared to enter into the partnership. That's, the, that's what's not getting communicated. We have built into this legislation the protection for the city, the ability for the city to work with the creation center and decide what configuration there is going to work best for the community of East Lake. It's in the lease agreement. So for those people that tell you you're giving it all up for a dollar, that's not true. Right. So there is no blueprint because that's going to come next. Um, to me, because it's not because it's right behind my home. Okay. Well, but that's that it's process right of deciding. Home. That process of deciding what's going to happen there is going to be a community process. I think we are going to have to go to the planning commission, but we're going to have some discussion about what's going to be contributed there. So that input will exist at that point in time. Well, how, how, how are you guys going to, how are you going to go further and make this better if you keep saying we went back 15 years ago, but 15 years ago we had something nice. Now we're 15 years from there, and you're saying that you're 15 years from now, it's going to be better. You're hoping that it will turn around and be better. But whereas it went in that last 15 years, it just, it just, it just keeps going down and down. You're getting rid of more and more land. It, it, it exists, the people that have, uh, they exist, of course, nobody has it with them today. But it exists. Been, Actually, it's, it's online. Multiple, we post it online. Yeah, there's been multiple. Well, all online. But for those folks, this is, look, this is one thing I want the community to know. And I don't have an opinion on it one way or the other. But I am as actively engaged in those discussions. I was in back, and we invited the people that are on this website. I don't know what it's called because I don't go to that website either. We we engaged. We had the community, we had the Croatian Center bring board member to have the discussion. He said, folks, if you, if you have an objection, I'll do whatever I can on behalf of the Croatian Center to help you fundraise. I will offer our facility for free. You can do whatever fundraiser you want at the Croatian Center. The Croatian Center has been a great partner in that process. And the dialogue was fantastic. One, was brief moment. One brief moment. I am not a website. I am not a block watch. I am a resident of Eastlake. And I came here today, so I, when I go to vote, because I voted since I was 18, I, I don't have anything in my mind. I will gladly you. give you whatever I can give you. So but, I will give so you after this and share with you. Please, my yes, you know, that we're all here out to get you. I'm here for an answer. I'm not. I'm sad that it's gone this far when I know personally that the information. Have you contacted me before? I have. But have, have you contacted me before that we could sit down and talk? Or and I'm okay with this forum because this is what like people like doing in the forum. Isn't this what you do when you come to a company? I agree. But, but, I, but I, I agree, but I'm also, but I also disagree where we put something out on, on the social media and that's the only answer and, and no one wants to speak with us. Michelle, we've sat down and we've been to my office and I'm not putting anything on anyone. Okay, hold on. The mayor's still got this. I mean, I, I, I'm an open book. Everyone calls, I return every call. Bad, good or bad. Anyone who walks into my office, I only one year's call. Move the taxpayers to the I'm good. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, only thing I'll say is, is that I'll make it clear that fill the boot when we do that. This is accepted charity of the International Association of Firefighters. We do that annually. That money that we collect goes 100% to the charity. We don't do it for any other reason. I, I just don't want that to be misconstrued. I know we appreciate the support from the community, but understand too that that's strictly there's a charity event and the city doesn't profit from it. Our department doesn't profit from it. All the money that they goes back to much of their district. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that we don't do that for any other purpose. Thank you, Chief. Any other questions for Chief? That's what we are pleased to Right after I made the attendance, this is when the park opened. Excuse me, please. I was actually, I was actually in charge of the skate park. We had a park patrol for the first couple of years to monitor 
to keep just the skateboarders into the hit line, the bike thing, the, the car is going to put that way. Um, and personnel, the money left, car patrol left, and recreation went from where it was to where we don't have a recreation department anymore. Um, many times our juvenile diversion program, which is kids that commit minor crimes, we put them out in the community, either helping the elderly, washing police cars, cleaning up the boulevard of flags, whatever need is out there. Countless times they had to go over to the skate park because it was it was horrible. I mean, bottles, cans, containers, it, it was, and if I knew there was as much passion as the root. No one took out the trash there. You never ended the trash. I'm not, never, I'm not never engaged in this debate. I've engaged in this portion of the meeting. And that's part of what is the problem here, is that nobody, nobody spoke over any of the people standing at the podium. And then as soon as we start speaking, it's some big, big debate. Again, I've answered every phone call. I've had every meeting. For six years I've done this. We picked, we've gotten called to the park for hypodermic needles and all these things. And no, no groups have, have, have spawned out of uh, out of these issues, and, may, may, and maybe this is the lesson when we go and tell our kids that actions have consequences. The action of voting or not voting for things, and, and deciding deciding where our money goes, that dep depends on what we have in our households and within our city. I'd love for all these people from Willoughby and Menor on the Lake to be able to continue to come to our city and, and skate at that park. But I also know. Are you going to address this? Does anyone stop? Does anyone, does anyone allow? Does anyone allow to come and respect the people to finish? I mean, everyone had their opportunity to speak, and nobody spoke over them. No one said liar of this or that. I mean, it, it's just it, it's it's sad. It really is. But since that is going to be the decorum here, I'll, I'll uh, answer any questions that they are. If anyone wants to ask a, a question individually, as always, you're free to call my office and or submit a question in any form that I will answer completely. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Any other questions from council? The Chief. Seeing none, we'll go on to our finance director, Caroline Chindell. Thank you. Um, the phone systems in the city for the last three days have been intermittently um, auto attendant or picked up by the finance department. The system went down. We're band-aiding it for the best of our ability. We hope to have it back up by Thursday. So if you called and you didn't get someone to answer, I apologize. But we're only there for so many hours of the day. I know the phone was ringing as I was wandering down the council here now. We don't have the ability to pick that up right now. Out of attendance down, voicemails down. So just so you know, we're doing our best to band-aid it. It's hopefully going to work. That's all. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, I would like to Mr. Quire is not here, but uh, one of the things that he did send me an email. Uh, Mayor, do you want to touch on the Ridgewood Drive? Program? Yeah, Ridgewood uh, Road uh, repair is complete. I know they started planting grass. They did all the crack ceiling, uh, and they came in under fifty thousand dollars under budget. So uh, that was a good thing. And AJ Smith did a great job working with the residents and uh, everyone that lives on that street. So that is complete. And our next up will be our law director, Mr. Randy Flannery. Uh, I have a report. Are there any questions for our law director? Seeing none, that will conclude our meeting at 7 p.m. Do not have a lot of the state of our call. Would you like to discuss the state of our call? Would you like to discuss the state of our call? Well, we tried, right? No. 
Yeah. Yeah. Streets, yeah. 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 Streets. Which is too bad. I mean, I can't really condone that, but I also know. I'm okay. I'm a little fine.